Welcome back to the Cutthroat Journey. Feel the passion. Let's get going. Hi guys and welcome back. So I wanted to uh, do a honing video and I wanted to actually take this one razor, the magnet one that I did a shave on yesterday. I wanted to do it on my Codicule here and using uh, mineral oil just to show you that what the potential is with the Codicule with like different ranges and all. Because you can use slurry uh, to do, you know, to work up the water or you can use mineral oil. You can also use dish soap um, to give that extra lubrication. So let me show you how to do this. So all you do, I mean, I have mineral oil. Uh, it's hard to get it right there. You see that right there? And I'll just apply some dabs on here. I put my finger in here and just apply it right here. And all I'm going to do is I may do some like uh, circles and I'm going to do some uh, X strokes mainly. And I'll probably work it, I don't know, like over five minutes or so. This edge was pretty good, but I'm just messing around, just testing out new stuff here. I may not take it to my diamond pace. I may just test it um, on this, uh, just the edge on this here. Because I've had gotten some great edges off this uh, Codicule with um, mineral oil. So let's just test it out. Let me just put that there. Just dry my hands off here, guys. I'm not going to use tape on this uh, vintage straight razor. I didn't use it, obviously, when I did the full progression, so I'm not going to add it right now. So here we go. You guys got a good view here, and there's the razor. So let's just, I guess I'll start with circles. So how are you guys doing out there? Are you enjoying the channel? I hope so. Trying to get new content out there for you guys. Some shave videos. Just add some spice to the channel. I've been really enjoying Shavettes recently. So you may see more of those on my shave videos. I just recently got a, a new one in from Shave Nation. Uh, the Tundio Shavette. So I'm going to give that a test shave today. So the feedback on this with mineral oil is smooth. There's like no drag or stiction yet. I don't usually don't get stiction when you use mineral oil. Like you would say with water on an Escher. I get stiction with on Jane at sometimes on my Jasper stone. I've even gotten it with this coat kill before under running water. But I'm not going to get that with mineral oil, obviously, due to the lubrication. So today is Wednesday, September 29th. I have the day off. I work all weekend, so I work Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I work night shift, so I'm just enjoying the day off. Do you see the black swarf building up, kind of? I mean, if you guys could see that at the bottom of this stone down this way. That steel will be removed. So you see me doing X strokes here. That gets the entire blade, the edge, sharpened. Even if the razor doesn't have a warp or unevenness, definitely I recommend doing that instead of just going straight up and down on the stone. It gets the full edge. This is a small coat of kill. It's called a boo. B-O-U-T. Just do the shape of it. So I wanted to bring it back to this coat of kill just because I remember a great edge I got off of this. It's still, the edge is still on it. It's uh, one of, a Geneva. 
vintage straight razor. It was a beautiful shaven edge. And I only have like two shaves on. I'm gonna have to break that one out and do a video on it. But I just wanted to just see what this stone can do a little bit more with a, just a different razor. So I actually, I took this one, this razor back to the 10K and then straight here. And usually sometimes I add a little bit more mineral oil, but I actually added enough on there to start that. I don't think I need any more. I'll be able to finish on this. Listen to the feedback. You see the swarf now, you can see it more now that I'm working the razor more. Yeah, so shavettes I've been using. Um, I'm really enjoying them. I actually have, so I have a Tundio. It takes the proprietary blades that come with the razor. So I can't use any other blades with that, which I don't, I'm fine with. I'm hoping the blades are good and I like the razor. So, and I also have actually Feather Artist Club coming in. Black handle I have from Japan coming in and it was $76 shipped. So I'm actually looking forward to using that on the channel. And just in general, just privately, because um, I know it's a great shavette. I just like a wide range of razors. I, I just, I'm a collector. I have also double edge razors. I'll probably do some shaves and some double edges as well. And a single edge, I'm co owner of Colonial Razors. So uh, we got some exciting news coming up, guys, that I'll share on the channel here. Um, so, if you like my content, kindly subscribe to my channel. If you're um, into safety razors, double edge, uh, I would say subscribe to my YouTube channel as well because um, I'll be doing business updates on, from Colonial Razors on my channel. And I'll also be doing some shave test on some future razors from my business on this channel. So, Should be uh, some good news coming up. So how many laps am I in, you guys? I don't even know. I'm probably pff, maybe 75. So I'm going to maybe do, I don't know, maybe 25 more. Just refining it here. I think this should be enough to give a great smooth edge. I bought this one off of Griffiths. Um, it's like a mom and pop online store. Very good business. They have quality products, stones, straight razors. Go check them out. Griffiths Shave Goods. I believe that's what it's um, their like their full name is. You can just Google it; you'll find it. It's run by a husband and wife team. Matt, he's a good guy. I've dealt with him in the past, just by just buying from him and all, and messaging him. And I bought actually some nice restored vintage razors from him. Two of them. And they're beautiful. He does great restoration work. I wouldn't mind buying another one from him in the future. Like his prices are a little more, caught. they're up there because the work he does is very good. So it's definitely, it's worth it. So I'll drop this one on my hose, on my root and my roux. I'll probably do like 40 laps or so on the roux, smooth, smooth side. Let's do some finishing strokes here.
I have a feeling this edge is going to be phenomenal off this this stone here. And this will degrade the edge. I could do a thousand laps on this with mineral oil. It's not going to hurt the edge. Some stones it may. So that's a good thing about a codicule. You're just pretty much just refining that edge. I'm not going to degrade it. So a couple more laps here and there we go. So wipe this off a little bit. Yeah, you can definitely I removed, I removed a lot of metal there. And well, you guys, and with mineral oil, it's pretty easily you just wash it right off with um, you know. Soap and water, a codicule is very versatile in that way. It's, you can use oil and water and just rinse it off and it's right back to its original state. You can, I can use a slurry stone right after that. So you guys, I'll upload this to my channel and appreciate you stopping by for another episode. And uh, I'll see you next step. I'll see you next time, next episode. Take it easy. I appreciate all the support. See you next episode.